right. Que pasa, amigos and amigas? Stu Mac, I'm looking at you. Okay, so I'm about to produce... I'm about to produce some more fretboards here in my shop, right? I just received this Gibson scale length ruler. Now, the problems that I've run into, because I, because I mill out my own lumber, the problems that I've run out run into is, as you can tell, there's no center line here. So the only way you could kind of utilize this is if you had a three inch wide by however long fretboard. And for me, I mill my own stuff, so I'm not always going to get those kind of cuts. So I've got a solution, a luthier that uses this. I'm going to add these two wood blocks. The idea is to understand where your center lines are on both sides, because not every piece of lumber is going to be three inches long and or you know three inches wide. So let's do this. I'm just going to put it like right here, because I still want to be able to hang this up on a screw on my bench. Also, I'm going to spray this tip here. This is a metal cutting tip that I'm using. So, as you can see, I got two holes now. What I'm about to do is I'm going to borrow, I'm going to bore out these holes. Now, see how it's not like a dead center? Wait, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick on this side because I don't want those pieces of metal sticking up. All right, so got our holes drilled out right here. I'm gonna slap a piece of double-sided tape on this, so. Like so, I'm gonna kinda place it there. I'm gonna use my T-square here. And let's, let's sit nice and nice and tight. Let's drill it in. like I need to go a little bit wider. So, where I'm at right now. So I added these two blocks, which are lined up exactly 90 degrees with my uh, T-square. I have one screw here for the top of the headstock, or the top of the fretboard. You got two here for the bottom of the fretboard. So, what I'll do right now is I'll add a center line right there to both of these pieces. So at least I know where direct center is on this board. So another reason why I like having these two pieces of wood besides having the center line and making it stupid simple, I could just move it down with this versus trying to get it from underneath because I like it really tight. I want it tight in that pocket. So number three. The old school luthier way is to add a ton of double-sided tape throughout this whole thing. Now, all I need are basically three pieces. One right here, one right here, one right here. And then I'll just let the screws hold it down while the tape holds it in place. So, instead of wasting a bunch of double-sided tape, I got, I got wood screws to hold it down. And the lifespan of those is a lot longer than this. 
Stu Mick. Come on, man. Help a brother out. Later.